The regional tunnel system is a key component of Alcacian's clean water plan. The tunnel system will flow into a new wet weather pump station to be located on the treatment plant site. The new tunnel system will consist of three segments, the Ohio River Tunnel, the Allegheny River Tunnel, and the Monongahela River Tunnel. The entire system will be over 16 miles in length. The tunnels will be up to 150 feet below ground. We are fortunate here in Pittsburgh to have great geology that will aid during tunnel construction. Flow will enter the tunnel through drops depicted here as vertical lines. Tunnel construction will start upstream and end at the Alcacian plant. This is an example of an initial launch site where the mining operation will begin. Alcacian will employ a tunnel boring machine also known as a TBM like the one shown here. The entire machine is about the length of a football field. This picture shows a TBM's cutter head, which is the face that mines through the rock. Notice the circular discs on the cutter head. These discs crush and mine out the rock. This animation shows how the TBM will mine out the rock and create the new tunnel. The TBM advances forward while the cutter head crushes the rock into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are then conveyed out of the back of the TBM and then collected for removal. The TBM will be designed to place tunnel line liner segments behind the machine as it mines forward through the rock. The liner segments will comprise the final lining of the new tunnel. The Ohio River Tunnel will be the first of the new tunnel segments to be constructed. This segment is close to 25,000 feet in length. Once the Ohio River Tunnel is completed sometime in 2029, the construction of the Allegheny River Tunnel and the Monongahela River Tunnels will follow. Construction of the Ohio River Tunnel will begin at a launch shaft near the Veterans Bridge and would end at the new wet weather pump station near the Alcacian Wastewater Treatment Plant. The Ohio River Tunnel is being designed to follow the north bank of the Ohio River between the new wet weather pump station and the West End Bridge. New regulators and drop shafts will be constructed along the tunnel alignment to be designed to capture large combined sewer overflows and then send them to the new regional tunnel. Between the West End Bridge and the Veterans Bridge, the tunnel is being designed to follow the main roads between the North Shore and Allegheny West areas. The overall route of the tunnel was optimized during preliminary planning and initial phases of design. To minimize the overall tunnel length, maintain proximity to large combined sewer overflows, and minimize surface disruption. Flow will enter the new tunnel system from the existing interceptor system. In dry weather conditions, flow is diverted to the existing regulator by weirs, devices that are used to regulate flow. The dry weather flow is diverted into the Alcacian interceptor and conveyed to the wastewater treatment plant. A new regulator structure will be built on the combined sewer overflow to direct the excess flow to the new tunnel. In wet weather conditions, excess flow will be captured by the new regulator and sent to a new surface consolidation sewer. The consolidation sewer would then discharge into a drop shaft which moves flow vertically downward approximately 150 feet below ground. Flow would enter a horizontal pipe called an adit or connector tunnel that connects the shafts to the new tunnel. From there, sewage will be transported to the new wet weather pump station and Alcacian plant for final treatment. On average, the tunnel system and associated conveyance will remove over 7 billion gallons of sewage out of our three rivers. So this brings you up to date with where we are with the regional tunnel system component of the clean water plan. Our final design of the Ohio River Tunnel began in late 2021. With the construction of the Ohio River Tunnel anticipated to begin in 2025. This concludes our presentation 
and thank you for listening.